Okay, let's take a look and see what we can do with the image prompt example with the old man effect in the print layout editor for Breeze Booth for iPad. Now what you're going to see here can be done in DSL Remote Pro as well and vice versa. So I did do a video on uh, the print layout editor and the face swap example for DSLR Pro and everything you saw there could also be done on the iPad app. So let's jump into Windows and get started. So we're going to go into um, uh, Breeze Booth Event Editor and we'll go into our event. And let's have a look at the print layout. So I'll go to Photos, Edit Print Layout. Now I was working this earlier, so I'm just going to delete that bit out. So what the setup is, is a 1200 by 1200 canvas uh, with a 1200 by 1200 image on top of it. Uh, so we want to add a second image here. So I'm going to right click and say add photo one. So we're now adding photo one twice on the canvas. And we want to scale that up and position it directly on top at the same size as the AI processed image. So what we want to do is enable the option use original unprocessed image and then set crop. So what we're doing here is trying to create a split face effect. So I want to show half of my face as the old man and half of my face as it is today. So we're going to say crop photo and we want to start from the left. So 0% from the left and we're going to do it about 50%. So what we're going to end up is with half of my face on the left as, as it is today and then half of my face as the old man on the right. So we've got that set up. Now there's one extra thing we'd need to do just to make it a little bit easier to help people get lined up and that's to add some guidelines to the UI. So if we come across to the general tab in touch screens actions you can see that I've gone ahead and created a file called ready overlay uh, which has a red dotted line down the middle and that's just to help people get centered up. Now I've also added that to the one.png screen um, so when the countdown begins that line remains otherwise once you hit start on the ready screen that line would disappear so we've carried that through from the ready screen to the countdown screen. So we'll jump over to the iPad and we'll see how we go if we can get ourselves uh, lined up so I'll just exit out of that uh, and update that event and we'll run a session and we'll see what happens. So now that I've got this red line here, um, it's going to make it a lot easier for guests to get centered up. So I'll do that and I'm going to look up at the camera and you can see that line has remained during the countdown and we'll give it about 10 seconds and see what sort of result we get. Okay, so it's fairly subtle, but you can see that half of my face is, uh, on the left is my original face, and on the right is sort of the old man effect. Now, I think in this instance, what we could actually do is crank up the old man effect a little bit more, um, because we've got that reference point of my real face. So let's jump back into um, Breeze FX, and we'll go into the old man configuration, and we'll edit that. And I'm going to change that image strength, for, image strength from 0.57 all the way down to, say, 0.35. Uh, just got it in there, so 0.35, which will make it look a lot more like an old person and less, a little bit less like me. So let's save that and see what sort of result we get. So we can come back to the iPad now and we can run this again. All right, so we'll let that process and we should get a result shortly. Yeah, so that's that's sort of a, a, a definitely a stronger uh, stronger resemblance, but you can see I've probably pushed it actually too far, so it's it's lost my glasses. So we probably just need to fine tune that a little bit more. So we'll go back in, um, and let's try as an example uh, 0.49. Okay, and we'll come back to the iPad, and we'll go one more time on that. This time I'm going to get some arm, arms in there, see if it'll, uh, we should see the effect a bit more on my arms as well. Yep, there we go. So I think that's a that's a better example of the effect here, where uh, the right hand side is definitely resembles me a lot more, but we've got this sort of split effect um, of the old and the young me. So I think that's quite sort of quite powerful. All right, so there we go. So we can use the print layout editor to sort of achieve this neat before after effect, which I think does work quite well with the image prompt AI. 
Um, but uh, any questions, just jump into the comments and let me know. Um, as I've said previously, I think the image prompt is a lot harder uh, and requires a lot more fine tuning and messing with than the face swap does. But if you've got the time and patience, then you should definitely check it out and have a, have a play. But yeah, any questions, jump in the comments and let me know.